What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by WinX and we're taking a look at the Media Trends software. Now this is a really awesome software. It basically allows you to take full control of all the storage on your device. Now typically speaking, let's say you're on a Windows device like this particular PC that I'm on and you connect an iPhone to it and you want to access your pictures. Well, you kind of can and you can kind of go and remove pictures directly from your iPhone onto your Windows. But get this, Apple makes things a really big pain if you want to move images to your iPhone. Sometimes there's glitches, sometimes your iPhone doesn't even show up in Windows. Windows at all. Well, let's see, what could we do? What if we have a really awesome piece of software that allows you to mess around with your photos, but not just your photos, but literally everything out there and mess with them in super, super high quality. For example, this thing actually allows you to transfer 100 4K photos in eight seconds. How crazy is that? You don't need any iCloud. And of course, this thing converts both the live photos that are built into the photos and the photos themselves. How insane is that? And you can also delete just about anything or you can even add albums. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how that works. So as you guys can see right here, let's say we have a few pictures. Let's say we have a picture of a peacock right here. And as you can see, it shows all the images inside of my camera roll, then my recently deleted. And of course, my favorites, selfies, live photos, bursts, and screenshots. But here's where things get interesting. Let's say I want to export this, but it's in an Apple format. And you know, Apple and Windows don't get along. So what are you going to do with this weird format? Well, what exactly happens here? So let's see. So first of all, we have all these photos, right? And Apple typically takes photos and converts them into this tiny little form file format known as HEIC. If you try to open that on a Windows, it's not going to open at all. So what the software allows you to do is export it normally if you actually want the HEIC, which most people don't. Or you can export it as a JPEG, which is exactly what I just did right here. And as you can see, it doesn't just export the photo but it exports the live photo as well which is really really cool and that makes life a ton uh, a ton of bit easier now as you guys can see right here you can also organize photos by day by month and then you can even change your viewing format or you can even export them encrypt with encryption if they're really important photos and you don't want to get hacked or something of those sorts and lastly what if we want to go and add a album well you see you can't typically do that inside iTunes it's actually literally impossible but in fact iTunes doesn't even exist anymore so that's a whole different problem but regardless as you guys can see I'm gonna go and add an album we're gonna call it old and then just like this we are are able to go and import photos as well so I'm gonna go into my brand new album and I'm gonna hit add photo and here I can add a random picture that looks like say this and just like that we're gonna hit sync and it's gonna push that photo directly onto my iPhone how awesome is that and just like that it is completed and I'll give you a little thing in case any of the photos failed and whatnot but anyhow enough with photos let's go ahead and check out our music manager so let's say we want to go ahead and add some music onto here as well once again you can add playlists directly within this software calling it big vibes or something like that and I'm just gonna make that my new playlist and afterwards once again you can add music get this you can add music without ever having to use iTunes in the first place so let's jump into my music real quick and afterwards I'm gonna hit maybe uh, let's go ahead and click this one right here and just like that, I'm able to add this song. Once again, you hit sync and of course it will sync that song directly on iTunes. You can play it in here as well or get this, you can even convert it into a ringtone. If you wanna take a chunk of this song and convert it into a ringtone, it'll actually put it inside of settings and you can use it as a message tone or ringtone or something of those sorts. How cool is that? Next off, we can also mess with videos. So if you want to move some of your movies that you have on your computer directly onto here, you can go and do that. Once again, you simply hit add and then of course maybe it could be any video it doesn't have to be a movie so let's say I got like a random drone video right here I can go ahead and import that directly into here as well which is really awesome and you can also once again export with encryption so next off we're gonna be taking a look at some of the more interesting features yes we can move photos videos and music but what else can we do well we can move books as well we can as I said create ringtones but we can also move our own ringtones and voice messages directly off the iPhone directly onto our device as well and then here's something really interesting we can use our device as a flash drive this is really 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 cool so first of all you're gonna simply hit add file and now to prove the point that you can add just about any file which iTunes once again does not let you do I'm gonna go into my documents and then I'm gonna simply hit this word document and it's gonna import that directly onto the iPhone how cool is that and this time I didn't even really need to sync which is really really cool then you can also remove the DRM I'm not gonna do this on this device but that's also an option and you can encrypt certain files so if you have some photos and videos that you want to encrypt you can go ahead and do it directly off of this how cool is 
is that. So all in all, it's super fast. It transfers photos faster than any other software, and it's very, very quick and easy to use. You can use it as a backup device. And of course, if you're moving from one iPhone to the next and you have an old iPhone 6 like I do here and you just got the new iPhone 11, this is a really cool way to back up everything. And a lot of times we don't actually want to back up things directly onto our brand new phone. We just want to back them up to my, our maybe our Windows computer or something of those sorts or a flash drive or something because all those old images are memories, but we don't want them hogging up our precious 64 gigabytes of disk space. So on all guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.